Hello everyone, I am Immature Gamer. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's video is the brand new Fortnite Season 6 update. I am going to go over the Battle Pass this season. I'm going to unlock, personally spend my money, and unlock all the tiers, all 100 tiers, and show you each item. So uh, let's just get into it, let's go. Immature Gamer. All right. As you guys can see, um, I just logged in and it says Battle Pass Promise. So since I bought last season's, it's gonna give me five free tiers, so that is awesome. It's gonna save me some money. Um, so here we go, let's get into it. We got uh, a spider web spray, a um, new loading screen, and a new emote. So that's cool. Look at that, season six battle pass. Um, we kind of already know how it works. We don't need to see all this stuff. Um, so first let me buy the battle pass. I'm gonna do the battle bundle obviously cause I'm gonna buy everything. So this will give us a little head start. Um, yep, there we go, bam. And uh, we will go over all this more in depth here in, in a second. Um, first thing I'm going to do is buy some V-Bucks because we're going to have to purchase each tier. So we'll be right back. All right, guys. So as you can see, have some more V-Bucks in that top uh, right corner. So uh, let's just get into it. I knew... Um, the new season was coming out and I was saving my daily challenges. So let me collect these rewards real quick. Um, I thought I had two challenges. It just said one there. But anyway, let's not worry about that. Let's go over to the battle pass. So we're already at number 33. First things up is DJ Yonder and also Calamity. Um, like Calamity Jane, right? That's like a famous cowgirl or something. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. But um, if you're looking on the right, you'll see her outfit. Uh, it's just like some of the other ones we've had in the past where um, there's six different levels. Um, as you play more and as more experience, you unlock more of the skin. So she looks pretty badass if you ask me. Uh, both of these look pretty cool. Um, second one, pretty, pretty lame, um, just spray paint. Um, this one is just a sticker. Here's another spray paint, Calamity. Here's a glider, uh, Picnic. That's uh, interesting. Uh, here's an, well, another emote. Um, this is a loading screen, Emoticon. All right, here we go. So here is a back bling called Bonesy and it's your personal pet. Um, this is pretty badass if you ask me. I, I really like this back bling. I'm a, I'm a dog, animal lover, I guess, but I have dogs. So here we go. This is the new music they're added. So apparently you can change your, um, I guess, background music or something like that. Um, we will go into the item shop after I'm all done and we'll, we'll listen to all of them and we'll look at some of the characters um, and what it looks like. Uh, some of the back links and some of the skins more in depth, but uh, anyway, let's just move on. Here's the new Fable Cape, pretty interesting. And then they have um, a new pickaxe, um, harvesting tool. So it's like a DJ, obviously goes with that new DJ Llama. Um, here's a new Contrail, that one's pretty dope. It's like a jetpack. Um, yeah, spray paint. Um, here's another loading screen. Um, here's a glider. Crossfire, pretty interesting, pretty standard, kind of looks like most of the other ones. And then we have a new character, new outfit called Giddy Up. So it's like a guy in one of those like costume um, things you can get out of Halloween, those costumes that you can fit in. It looks like you're riding something. Um, it looks like you're riding a llama. So this one's actually pretty sick, but it's pretty clunky, pretty big, pretty bright. So I don't know if I'd actually use it in the game, but. Um, it's, it's different, to say the least. Uh, another loading screen for DJ Yonder. Um, 
And here's a tomato. So um, I know like we had last season basketballs, golf balls, volleyballs, things you could um, interact with. This is just the same thing as tomato. Um, there's tomato head, the character. So they're just kind of adding stuff like that uh, to go with that. I, I assume anyway, I know there is a um, another tomato character I'm sure we'll be coming across here. Um, I won't ruin that. But um, here's a little uh, another backpack. Um, that's another pet backpack. Um, looks pretty sick. I prefer the dog one myself. Here's a, a new pickaxe. This one is a um, an axe with a little fireflies in a bottle. Um, and then uh, last for this page is the running man. Um, man, they have just got so many emotes in this game. But uh, then we got some dice and some XP. All right, here we go. Ching, ching. Let's start buying stuff. Um, let's, I guess we'll just skip all that. Let's buy everything. Oh my God, my wallet. Uh, I, uh, honestly, I don't like doing this because it is kind of fun to grind, right? And unlock these yourself, but I want to make a video. Um, uh, here we go. Purchased. All right, let's go back, uh. So, uh, here's another loading screen, Valkyrie. Um, this was another epic character they just came in with in the past week. It's insane, insane character. It looks so good. Um, Fireflies, Contrail. A new um, DJ Cape waveform. I'm sure that goes with that DJ Llama. And then a Cover Crusader glider. Um, kind of interesting. I um, I prefer the umbrellas. They're a little quieter and not um, they don't take a lot of room when you're gliding, so you can see better. But they did do some updates on the gliders. Um, they made some sound changes, so um, you can hear them above you better. I guess they kind of also added more of like the you know how a car driving by you um, sound where it's obviously gets louder is closer and, and softer and far away. I guess they add, added that to the um, to the game in this update, so that's just something to be aware. Um, another spray paint. Here's a dragon now uh, backpack. This this is pretty sick actually. I'm not gonna lie, that is that is dope. I, I, I love these backpacks. I don't know if it's just me. Um, I think it's such such a cool ad. Um, fate loading screen. Here's it's go time um, emote. Dang, got a dude grabbing his crotch. Got a pee. Um, interesting. And then here's Fable. So it's like a little red riding hood. It is kind of October-ish coming up, so I think they're going for a Halloween type theme. Um, I know in one of the videos updates they actually show the Skull Trooper. So I don't know if that's gonna be a uh, kind of foreshadowing if they're gonna come back. Uh, and have that thing for sale again. I know that's like the number one skin everyone wants, but uh, we'll see. Oh, wall crawler. Here's another loading screen. Um, and then again, here's another um, music called Eerie. We'll check that out here in a minute. Um, another contrail, some pumpkins, and then some dusk wings. Look at those things. They're so insane. Like. I love the wing uh, back blinks. Honestly, I, this one is dope. <laughs> TP emoticon. So now here's another dog, um, a white dog. So we're getting different, uh, I guess, colored dogs. Um, a tomato temple uh, loading screen. A Slytherin emote. Um, there's something kind of similar to that. Uh, I can't recall what the emo is called, but it looks, um, the wig, is it wiggle? Anyway, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. I don't know. I don't want to make this video super, super long. So, uh, pardon me, I guess. Uh, but, uh, they have a loading screen called Chomp Master. Um, a <laughs> shark with freaking laser beams attached to its head. That's an Austin Powers reference. I love this emote meat. I always uh, refer to when I... I guess poop 
on on people. Uh, give him a meat sandwich. So that's that just suits me perfectly. Uh, a bat's contrail. It's pretty cool. Halloween themed. And then we got Dusk. So um, very interesting looking character. Uh, she's pretty badass, especially if you added those new wings. I bet looks dope as hell. And then we have a pink dragon. Um, again, like I said, I've already talked a bunch about that. And then we have a new toy, Fancy Tomato. Um, we'll have to look into that. I'm not exactly sure what this is all about. And then uh, here's a new loading screen. And then here is a new glider. Now, obviously, it goes with that new woman character hero, but this glider is dope. Um, last season was kind of so-so on the battle pass uh, stuff you can unlock. Um, so far, this season is pretty sick. There's a little Skulls Trooper uh, icon. Another uh, contrail. This one's pretty all right. Ravage, and here you go. Here's Nightshade. So I guess this is the Tomato Head female version. Um, there's the Night Cloak. Um, the the cloak's actually pretty sick. Um, another dog, Mocha colored. So uh, you know, if you want to mimic some of your pets, especially whatever color their fur is, you you can. Um, here's an OG sound so that's going to be the original starting screen i think um if you guys remember that if you guys played all the way back to season one and two they got i can't was it two or three they got rid of it so now you can go back to the og music a lot of people have been asking for this so that is that's awesome um here's a new loading screen that's the basically the new character the new hundred hundred uh, tier character we're going to see in a sec uh, a little flamenco dancing for an emote and a black dragon. Pretty dope, pretty dope. And lastly, here's Dyer. Um, and it's basically a werewolf, man. It's so dope, man. I, I just, I keep, gonna take forever to unlock. 250 XP, at least it's not 500. I think you had to have 500 last season for um the final character so this is this is better but oh my goodness look at that seriously um you guys have to admit this is dope this is dope so um that's it that's it for season six battle pass um uh, this season um let's kind of go more in depth let's have a little look see they changed up the menu screen if you guys haven't noticed um here is the cowgirl. Um, I guess you can change the color of the hat and also the bandana on her leg. And then here's her different outfits. Um, that The last outfit is insane. Looks so sick. Um, I guess we, um, we can unlock her. Um, there you go. There she is right now. Um, let's look at Dyer, and you're gonna be able to change his clothing color, and then also here's the different um, styles of werewolf. It's gonna be different colors. Again, as you progress and gain more XP, you'll unlock it. And I cannot wait to unlock the font. He looks insane. Looks so good. Um, some of the back bling. Here's that new cape they added. Um, and here's the new waveform. Actually, let's we're not done with characters, are we? Let's look at the uh, new DJ Llama. Um, he actually looks really, really good. Here's that new um, Giddy Up outfit. Uh, Fable. Looks like Little Red Riding Hood to me. And Dusk. So, whew, looks really, really good. Um, I guess I can just keep dusk. It doesn't really matter what we use. Um, but yeah, here's that, that new back bling. Here's scales. Oh, I love it. I love it. 
Let's see, this looks so good. Oh, so sexy. And here's a dog. Yeah, I am, uh, I'm beside myself. They did such a good job. Um, what do we have? Two new, um, here's the new axe and the smash up. We got the new umbrellas, which this one swarm is so sick. Like, I'm not really a big fan of that, and the rest were just kind of so so just normal. So, contrails kind of boring. Some new emotes apparently. Um, here's the music, so this is how you get to the music. Now, let's check this out. I want to hear this. It's very faint. Hold on, let me change my settings real quick. There we go. There you go. It's pretty sick. A little eerie. Oh, it's the original. I'm gonna, I'm gotta have this. You gotta have this. So this is the floss sound. The floss uh, emo music. So this is cool. This is brand new. I think it's, it's really cool. So I'm glad to add this stuff, but gotta go with the OG remix. All right, I gotta turn uh, this down so I can think. I had this really low. All right, all right. So um, that's kind of it for um, the season six battle pass items. Um, there is some updates. I'll go over just real quick for you guys. Um, first thing, they've added a bunch of new points of interest obviously I don't know if you guys have gone in or not what I'll do is I will um, I'll probably make another video or just me getting a win um, just kind of showing you some of the new points of interest but they've added a new floating island it's insane um, maybe I'll just post some of the gameplay uh, right now but the what they've done is unreal you can like um, it's loot lake is now floating and it has this like gravity tornado thing that will shoot you up in the sky and it's it's wild i can't even explain it i'll just you'll just have to see um they added some like cornfields um a new haunted dracula castle i don't know if you guys remember um where they added that like underground layer kind of over by um snobby shores haunted hill uh haunted hills they've added that so that's all brand new um there's some other new areas nothing like too too crazy i think there is um what is it uh wailing woods now has like a huge basement underground thing it's it's actually pretty dope so um again they've added some really really good updates i've i haven't actually played it myself i've just kind of been watching it today um, i wanted to get this video out here and show you guys so i'm gonna get probably into that they added some new um things called shadow stones it's um makes you like invisible um there's uh a, there is a time limit on it um it's kind of found in the corrupted areas um kind of where kevin the big cube i think some of his past will i guess it's left some corrupted areas maybe i, th I think that's what that's all about and they have these shadow stones and you get in this like shadow form for a brief period and you can't use your weapons um you become invisible to enemies when not moving when you're stationary and you become more visible um and leave behind kind of like a shadow trail when when moving um you gain increased movement speed um jump height and fall damage immunity um you gain a new ability called phase and you can activate it by pressing the fire button and you can basically like go into walls and things um it's nutty dude it's it's nutty and it lasts for like 45 seconds um they did um take it offline right now it was in the game at right when they launched but right now it's kind of um taken off on you can't can't use it right now i don't know if when this video comes out if you can use it again 
Um, if I know that information, I'll put like a, something up on the screen right now. Um, hopefully, I can get some gameplay of it because um, it's it's a game changer. Honestly, it's it's OP as hell. Um, it's cool. I'll sp we'll see how long it lasts in the game. But let's just say that um, they vaulted the impulse grenades, um, suppressed submachine guns vaulted, light machine guns vaulted, and bouncers and remote explosives are vaulted. So the bouncers that sucks, man. That was such a uh, tool in the game. I was kind of bummed out about that. Um, what else? What else they do? So, so a big thing on co um, console gamers, they um, have custom controller bindings. Um, let's let's go look at that. Okay, so here here you go. I guess you you go to custom, and then you can change whatever you want your button to to do. So. Um, I know for me, I'm going to um, probably change up my edit edit button because um, they added quick edit. And basically, if I do more than press B or hold B, it grabs onto the building material. So I'm going to change. I might change it to my right um, joystick press or left. I don't know. I got to mess around with that. But anyway, you can customize anything. We've been asking this for a long time and they've listened. So that is really, really cool. I um, heard some buzz that they were going to be adding controller sensitivity and options to where like basically uh, you can change your sensitivity for building and then also for your guns. You're going to be able to change differently. So that would be that would be huge. That would be huge. Um, you'll be able to build faster, which they really need it. They really do need it to add. That's one thing they really need to add. And um, that is kind of it for the updates. There was one one huge, huge news. PlayStation actually confirmed and agreed to have, allow cross-platform with everyone. So PS4 and Xbox are gonna be able to play together, which is just, just so cool. Um, there's gonna be endless possibilities. I really hope to do a 50 v 50 mode with like PlayStation versus Xbox. Like let's let's settle the freaking score right now. Which uh, console's better? But I don't know. They're both pretty good. I'm not gonna get into all that. But that's kind of it for this update. This was a long video. I apologize. Uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I wouldn't recommend spending a bunch of money just to unlock everything. Just get the battle pass and, and unlock it. You'll do it, if you, especially if you play the game. Um, you know, quite often you'll unlock it. And, and that's it. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. Just hit a like if you do. Uh, leave them a comment if you, if you want. Ask me any questions, I'll answer them. And uh, if you want to play, hit me up, add me. Um, let's play, especially when they crap, uh, like cross-platform. I have no excuse now. We can, we can play on uh, anything. So... Uh, Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Immature Gamer, and I am out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos, and thank you for watching.